There is a sickness that you potentially experience in your dating life right now that is leading you to not take any actions. To take action. That is also leading you maybe to take action, but every time you take action, you get rejected. Yeah, I got rejected last week. And of course, this is leading you to feel super frustrated, lonely, and I mean, you don't have a woman on your side as well. So that fucking sucks. That sucks. It's usually something that is happening because you've been rejected over and over and over for a long period of time, right? Because maybe you grab the number of a cool woman, you're texting her, going well, all of that, and then she sends you a text, hey, it was really nice to meet you, but I'm really not interested in dating anyone right now. You seem like a cool guy, but yeah, I hope you find a good girl. And you receive that text and it's like, you know, fuck this shit. I received this text so many times, it was super annoying. Maybe you have a date with a woman. You think in your head it's going well, right? You did a little bit of kino. <laughs> you were using the pickup line, the routine. She was responding well, she was laughing, but then she gives you a kiss on the cheek. Maybe she kisses you on the lips, right? But then you don't see her again. She flakes on you. And again, you're alone, frustrated, and you don't have a woman in your side. I guess that's why I'm single. <laughs> That fucking sucks. And you might even be able to have sex with a woman, right? Great, you had sex. But now, <laughs> the dynamic slowly dies down, right? Something happens that makes it that not working. And then you again end up feeling lonely and frustrated and you don't have a woman on your side. I'm tired of this whole thing. This accumulation of rejections takes a toll on your system on your body and your mind. And imagine you get rejected one time, two times, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times. At one point, your body and mind are going to develop a defense mechanism to not get rejected that much. This defense mechanism is the very sickness that is leading you to get rejected more and more and more and more. Because the defense mechanism is trying to help, right? It's trying to protect you from not getting hurt, from not getting rejected. But because it is in the past, this defense mechanism is stuck in the past. It's leading you to take very dysfunctional protective actions that do not work, especially long term. So the emotion that I want to discuss today is apathy. I'm sorry. You have a practiced apathy, Mr. Wayne. You have probably developed apathy in your daily life. Apathy to not take any actions. Maybe instead you want to focus on your business. Let's first make money. <laughs> Let me make money first and then I'll have the woman. <laughs> Let me tell you this. I have met my girlfriend almost actually two years ago. <laughs> I met my girlfriend two years ago. And I was totally broke when I met her. Totally broke. 1,500 euros in my bank account. I had this much money, you know. How can you be attractive if you have this much money? Well, I was. <laughs> I didn't need money for this. So if you think that you need to focus on your business first and then meet women, maybe try to reconsider this, you know. Uh, maybe you want to focus on going to the gym, right? Let's build an amazing physique and then I can meet women. Then I can have results with women. And again, you've fallen into the fallacy of your own apathy because you got rejected too many times and you just don't want to get into it again. You don't want. Maybe you want to focus on nutrition. Maybe you want to focus on meeting friends. I could go on and on and on about these defense mechanisms that are basically sabotaging your life because deep down you want to meet women right you want there's a natural desire you have sexual energy don't lie to me you do <laughs> so don't tell me that you just want to focus on your business for now you do want to meet women you just have this emotion that has developed itself because of the amount of rejections that you got now what needs to happen is two things First, you need to deal with the apathy itself, which means you don't go around it, you deal with it. Heads on. For this, you need to, you need to do the, the internal work. 
I know I keep on repeating <laughs> the internal work, the internal work on all my videos. <laughs> Maybe you're getting tired of this, but because it's really important, you know. Uh, when you deal with dating, you're going to experience emotions. It's very normal. You might experience resentment, anger, sadness, loneliness, and apathy. And apathy is one of these emotions that not a lot of people discuss because it's a very hidden one. You don't really realize that you feel apathetic. You don't really realize that you don't want to meet women because you don't want to get rejected again. You know, it's so easy to rationalize your way out of it. It's so easy to say, oh, yeah, let's focus on business. Let's focus on making money. It sounds very good. Just like, let's focus on going to the gym. There's nothing wrong with going to the gym. It's more like, where does it come from? Why do you want to go to the gym? Do you want to go to the gym because you generally want to build a better body? Or do you go to the gym because you feel like shit? That's two different places to come from, right? And you really want to make sure that every time you take an action in your life, not just in dating, in your life in general, the place you come from is actually a healthy place. You're not running away from anything. You're doing it because it generally feels right to do it. For example, I used to, I, I used to, I still practice yoga, but um, I had a moment in my yogic practice where I was actually questioning if I should do yoga or not every day. And I had to let it go for two or three days to realize, oh shit, actually, I do really want to do yoga because it feels fucking good. But I was questioning it because I was like, do I want to do yoga to, because I'm escaping something or because I generally want to do yoga? So I removed yoga for a few days. And then I really dug into the reason why I want to do yoga. And then I cleaned that up and it was very clear that I want to do yoga for the right reasons, right? It's the same thing with dating and the same thing with business and all of that, right? So you want to deal with your apathy if you experience that in your dating life. Now, it's not the only thing you want to do because let's say you deal with apathy. Great. You're ready to date again. And then you're going to get rejected because going out there and meeting women and having dates and sexual experiences, you will not always find your perfect match, right? Sometimes you will find women and you're trying to connect and then it doesn't work for whatever reason. So rejection is inevitable. The problem is how do you interpret rejection? Because the reason why you developed apathy is because your interpretation of rejection was negative. For you, rejection is such a bad thing, right? It's such a horrible thing. It's so painful to experience rejection. But why does it have to be this way? Have you ever asked yourself this question? Why rejection should be this painful? Why do you interpret rejection as this horrible thing that should be avoided at all cost when it's inevitable? Life is such that rejection will happen. So why don't you change the way you perceive rejection? For example, what I did is every time I would get rejected, I was thanking the universe for allowing this situation to unfold this way. Because maybe this woman, if I would be in a relationship with her, would end up cheating on me. How the fuck do I know how the future will be? I don't fucking know. So if a situation doesn't happen my way, maybe it's a good thing. I just didn't know why it's a good thing at the time, right? So my, my, my question to you is, how can you interpret rejection differently? What is the rewriting that you want to do? Is it, oh, the universe is giving me something? Or maybe you want to rewrite it in a way that says, it's here to teach me a lesson. This rejection is here to teach me a lesson. Hmm. How much more empowering is that than to say, she rejected me because I'm not good enough, I'm not masculine, I'm not this, I'm not that. And I'm not saying that you should not look at these things, right? Maybe you're not enough masculine, maybe you're not enough confident, maybe, you're not, maybe you don't feel good enough, and this is leading you to feel rejected. Sure, these are rightful things to look at, but also, you could rephrase it in a way that is like, 
is teaching me a fucking lesson right now. Huh. This is much more empowering than to become the victim and start hating yourself and having this negative self-talk. Because the words you use towards yourself have a direct impact on how your actions will be later on. Everything that you do, thinking, emotions, and all of that, have an impact on you, more than you think. So how you interpret rejection is very crucial. And you have to interpret it in a very healthy way so that you don't end up feeling apathetic again. Because if you go out there and meet a woman, you will get rejected. It's happening. I have been rejected more than anyone. I've met probably more than 10,000 women in my life. Probably even more. I, don't, I honestly don't know. I didn't count. But just to give you a little bit of a picture, when I started to meet women eight years ago, for three years I was going outside every day and I was meeting 10 to 20 women a day. Non-stop. For three years. So do the math. And then I met women, of course, along the years, but I had relationships as well. So, you know, the first three years were really, really intense in terms of that. So I have been rejected more than a thousand times, even more probably, like crazy. But at one point when I was getting rejected, it didn't feel like a rejection. It was more like, oh, okay, we're incompatible. Cool. All good. <laughs> let me, let me move on to the next one. No problem, no resentment, no pain. <clears throat> all good because it is not such a bad thing to get rejected now i'm not saying that you know let's, let's imagine you have a relationship for five years if there is a breakup it hurts every breakup will hurt definitely but when you just met a woman it shouldn't hurt that much you have no attachment and the only attachment that you create is in your mind because real attachment you cannot create with a woman that you just met one or two times it's impossible right Attachment happens over time, after meeting more and more times. So you have to interpret rejection in a very different way and deal with the apathy itself. You will see that your dating life will change when you clean that up and when you change your interpretation of rejection. You will be more confident just by doing that. It's actually a byproduct of it. You will be more masculine. You will be more resilient, meaning that you will be able to be more consistent. You will be able to have at least one date opportunity every day. Uh, every day, every week. <laughs> Much better, right? To operate from this frequency. If you're interested in having a whole framework to teach you how to attract one date every week, I have a free course available. You can click on the link down below. It's giving you the whole map as well as some practices, some meditations that you can practice to really become a better man and attract a good woman in your life. Thank you for watching and I see you, my brother. <laughs>